What's up you guys? It's Jackson from Loveless Vintage. I am halfway down to Portland. This is going to be a new flea market video. But the cool thing about this video is the flea market is actually being put on by two of my friends. So it's gonna be their first vintage flea market that they are putting together in Portland, Oregon. It's going to be awesome. I'm super proud of them, super happy. So I had to come down to make the trip. So I'm gonna show you guys what the flea looks like. It's inside of like this plant store. So it's gonna be awesome. The layout of it's gonna be really cool. That aesthetic's gonna be really, really sick. So I wanted to make an entire video about it, kind of like walk through the flea with you guys, show you guys some of the vendors and stuff. Like I said, I'm getting gas right now and then we will be on the way to the flea and I will take you guys with me. So let's do some shopping. Let's check out the first half day market. Let's go. All right, guys, we out of there. I actually only ended up getting that rug and then I got two shirts. So I'll show you guys them when I get back to my car really quick. One of them is for my friend and one is to flip, uh, but I don't mind keeping it for a little bit because it's really sick. So I will show you guys those when I get back to car. It was so sick. It was such a sick vibe, very wholesome. I loved it. I might actually be vending at the next one. So yeah, I'll show you guys the shirts when I get to my car in a sec. Okay, so you guys, we got this crazy corn shirt on a giant blank size xl has the little sleeve hit too i actually sent a picture of this to my friend because she collects corn shirts and i was about to leave without buying any shirts and she was like yo i need that so i went back and bought it the homie johnny shout out 50 thrift he only wanted 50 for it so i had to cop that for her and then i got this one for either personal or to resell this shirt is just so crazy 1997 single stitch this is a black hills rally it's like a wizard big front graphic and then on the back 
we do get a little patriotic right there but the shirt is so sick he wanted 60 for it i thought that was a really good deal either just to have is a really really sick oliver print like wizard biker shirt or to resell i feel like i could get a little bit more than that so i did want to support the homie and buy this one also so i picked up both of those it was 110 for both and like i said this one is going straight to a friend so i'm not selling it and i did get this rug this rug is so sick the girl that made it i'll actually put her instagram up right here i think her name is brie thank you so much it's so cute i'm definitely going to hit her up to do a custom one probably it'd be sick to have a really really big version of this but yeah those are the three things that i did buy really quick again you guys know rudy's pizza portland it's my favorite spot to eat down here i got this vegan ranch bacon chicken pizza oh my god you guys looks amazing okay anyways yo what is up everybody this is going to be the start of a new video i am going to be selling in person at a flea market a vintage flea market half day market put on by my good friends i'm super excited to do it i have not sold in person at an event in over a year i'm super excited to try to get back into it so just really quick i need to clear this entire rack i'm only bringing one rack and i'm probably going to bring like a hundred or so pieces i'm thinking i'm going to have like 60 to 80 pieces is out and then I will have a $5 bin and then some extra goodies to restock throughout the day with. And it's currently July 1st. The pop-up is July 3rd. So it's the day before 4th of July. It's down in Portland, as I said, and it's right next to this really cool plant store. I went to the first one they threw. The vibe is amazing. I'm super, super excited to do it. And I just went to bins today and you guys, I got like $83 worth of stuff. I think it was like 60 something pounds. The past three times I've been to bins, it's been super good. I honestly haven't sourced super hard in like a month. So I feel like I'm just getting blessed getting back into it and thrifting. So I just wanted to do a quick intro. I'm going to start going through my rack and going through stuff I already have listed on Depop and kind of filtering through what I would want to bring. And then I obviously have a ton of new inventory that I can bring with me also. So I'm just going to put my phone up and kind of organize through some stuff. Stuff, and then I will show you guys some of the pieces I'm bringing and explain to you the price points that I'm going to be selling stuff at and then I will try to get footage of me selling at the events and everything like that. I'm super excited to do it. Let's go. Also, if you guys are new here, my name is Jackson. I run an Instagram, a Depop, a YouTube, and very soon a website all called Loveless Vintage. I am a full-time vintage reseller and I appreciate you guys being here. Slap a like on the video, please. It takes one second, just slap that like. It really, really helps my videos get in the algorithm. It helps them be seen by a lot more people. So I appreciate you guys slapping likes on the video. Drop a comment down below too. I try to respond to all the comments. And of course, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. Ready. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get back into the video. What is up everybody? It is the next day. If you could not tell by my hair, I just woke up pretty recently and I'm going to start bringing everything in so I can sort through, pick out what I'm going to actually have at the flea and start pricing things. I'm probably just going to honestly set my phone up on my little tripod and give you guys some footage. So like I said yesterday, I'm only bringing this rack of clothing, but the problem is, is that I'm not taking everything on this rack. I'm gonna sort through and maybe take like 20, 30 things on this rack. So the first thing we have to do is take everything off this rack, take all this shipping stuff off this rack. I'm gonna put my rack inside of my house and then we are gonna just go through stuff, put some things that I do want on here on wooden hangers. And then we're also gonna go through this stuff, this stuff, and this is actually a pile of stuff I already sorted out that I do wanna bring. So yeah, we're basically just gonna go through the best stuff or my ideal setup and I will bring you guys along with me and go through a good chunk of the stuff that I will have right off the bat at the flea. But then I also am bringing reinforcements. So I'll probably bring at least like 30 to 50 extra shirts in case I do really well and need to restock. So let's do it. Okay, we got a lot of stuff from that rack, probably like 40 things or so. So we're gonna do this rack now also. I think I have like maybe 30-ish, 40 shirts on there too. So I'm gonna pick some pieces out from there that I will also bring. And then I'm gonna go through the rest of this stuff and I'll probably honestly have like 150, 200 things. And then I'm gonna have to sort through what ones I actually want to put on this rack with wooden hangers. So let's do it.
Okay, the rack is inside of the house. This is all stuff that I have that is currently listed on Depop that I think will be good to bring to the pop-up. This is some stuff I don't have listed on Depop that I think would be good to bring to the pop-up. And I still have stuff out in my garage that I need to go through. But I think for now, I actually think that I'm going to go through the stuff that I don't have listed on Depop and pick out like the best stuff to bring. Because for these guys, I think that I'm going to have to either put them on hold by marking them super high price on my depop or just marking them all sold which i really don't want to do so i'm kind of trying to figure out how to do that if any of you guys are watching this video and you sell in person at flea markets and also sell online let me know what you do with your inventory if you do bring it to fleas because if this goes well for me and i start doing it more i do want to know how i would be able to do this better with having inventory listed online and then bringing it to a flea to sell in person like if it sells in person what do you do with it if it's still listed online i'm sure it's really hard to mark things sold if you have like multiple people trying to buy stuff in the moment so yeah let me know if you guys have any ideas in the comments but i think i'm gonna go through all the other unlisted stuff out in my garage and pick through it and then i will probably put my favorite unlisted stuff on the rack and then we will get into the depop stuff so i'm just gonna keep organizing and i'll put my phone on the tripod and you guys will see Okay, so right here I have basically 100 hangers. I'm just short of 100. I do have more hangers. I probably have like 30 more wood hangers if I did need them. But I think that to make my rack shoppable so that people can actually, you know, like go through the rack and look at things, I'm probably gonna just keep it to this, which means I have to really narrow down what I'm gonna end up bringing. I am bringing a few higher priced items, but I'm keeping them on these darker colored wood hangers. I am gonna have all these priced with like a little sticky note taped right here with what the price will be. Everything on a light wood hanger is gonna be $20. So that's the way I decided to do it was everything on a light wood hanger is gonna be 20 bucks. Everything on a dark wood hanger will be individually priced. I'm probably only gonna have maybe 10 to 20 higher priced items because I really just wanna move a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna be putting things on here that I have listed on Depop for maybe 25, 30, maybe even $35, just because I wanna move a lot of stuff. I have a lot of inventory. And as you guys know, Depop has been sucking lately, super slow sales. So I would like to make a lot of money at this event if I can. So I'm trying to move stuff. So I'm gonna pick out my best stuff to go on these hangers. I will show you guys when it's all updated. I'll show you guys the leftovers that I decide to bring. I'll show you guys the $5 bin that I'm gonna bring. And I'm gonna steam all of these so they look all nice and ready. So let's go. So here's an update. I'm probably like a third of the way done hanging everything up on here. Of course, I'm gonna color code it in the end. And then I have some pieces over here that I need to hang on darker hangers that I will price. I still have all of this stuff that I need to hang and then a pile of maybes that will We'll probably end up going on to this rack and then I have backup stuff also so I'll show you guys when it is all done I just wanted to give you guys an update of the process of me prepping for the flea all right you guys I think we got it I think we are all done this is how my rack is gonna look I will go through it really quick with you guys to just show you I have so many plastic hangers chilling down here I have some stuff over here also this is gonna be for restock that's my five dollar bin I need to fill that up a little bit more but the rack here as I said everything on a light colored hanger up until right here is gonna be $20, 20 bucks for everything here. I will flip through it really quick just to show you guys. So 20 bucks for anything here. And then right when you get to around here, I'm gonna individually price all these by putting stickers right here. I'll show you guys when I do that. And then everything from here over is gonna be 30 bucks and up, $30 and up. I think it's a pretty good balance. I have about 75% $20 stuff, 25% higher price stuff. And then I do have a lot of stuff to restock for $20 items. So let's just go through some of the pieces and again if some of these don't sell at the pop-up they probably won't be twenty dollars this is just a special i'm doing for the pop-up so we have like a south dakota tea that single stitch we have like a humor tea we got this really cool tea i found yesterday actually it has a big frappuccino on the back but all of these will be 20 bucks the pop-up got a vintage winston eagle race team tea i actually have two of these i found these the other day got like a seattle mariners piece we got this like Hawaii gecko piece. Got some Harley teas. Actually, have a decent amount of Harley teas. We have this really cool flower piece with these details. Some more flower pieces. I was trying to focus on like summer centralized things. So this also very summery. We got like a Sturgis. 
What else do we have in here? This one's really cool, not super old, but we have a I climb Mount St. Helens. It's like a light pink. I really like that about it. What else do we have? We have this really cool single stitch Montana tee. Again, all of these are gonna be 20 bucks at the pop-up, $20 at the pop-up. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then higher price stuff, I will price some of this stuff, but this will be like 30. This would be a hundred. This is like a Monet art piece. And then I have some other really cool stuff. This tool tee will probably be like 30 bucks. This 3D emblem will probably be like 50 or something. But yeah, I'm gonna go through price all these right now and add to my $5 bin. And I will update you guys when I do that. We are all ready, you guys. I got everything priced out. I made these little like hanger things that say all light hangers, 20 bucks, just so if I'm busy or something, people can understand that everything between these two hangers is gonna be $20. I know people normally have price tags and like they price their items individually, but I don't have a pricing gun because I never do pop-ups. So I thought that this was the most efficient method for what I'm doing right now. And then as you guys can see, I did individually price all of these with the prices up here. So we are all set, all ready to go. I'm gonna fill up that $5 bin with random stuff and then we are going to head down to Portland. So let's go. Really quick, $5 bin is ready. I feel like I honestly have like 70 shirts in here they're all gonna be five bucks i honestly was thinking about doing three for ten just to get this stuff out of here i just want it out of here i got snacks ready for tomorrow i got some water and let's hit the road morning you guys it is the morning of the pop-up it's almost nine o'clock i'm about to drive over there now i'm super hyped it's supposed to be really nice today i'm just overall really excited so let's go do it i'm gonna try to get some footage of me setting up stuff like that but yeah let's go over there if you guys don't follow the market on instagram half day market i'll put their instagram up right here they're gonna be doing this every month in portland they're gonna be doing events beyond this i'm super excited for the progress of it and it's put on by two of my really good friends so i'm super happy for them i'm super happy to be involved so give them a follow and let's go do it Yo, I look straight up disgusting. <laughs> it was so hot. I was so sweaty all day. The flea is done. I'm gonna go get food. I probably will record something when I get home in a few days. It is July 4th weekend, so I think I'm gonna stay down here in Portland. So I will record an update for you guys when I get home, let you guys know how everything did. Super chill though, really, really good vibes. It was just very hot. So I'll talk to you guys more about it when I get back home. What's up you guys this is present day jackson i'm gonna be ending out the video here now all that footage is from like two and a half months ago so obviously as you can see i have different hair and everything now it's been some time since i've uploaded on video or updated you guys i do post daily on my instagram at least on my stories like every day on my instagram so if you guys miss me you miss some content go follow my instagram i'll leave it up on the screen right here i have been talking about my youtube over on my instagram how i've been wanting to come back to it but essentially i've just been taking a break i did release a video right before this one talking about am i quitting youtube i just really needed a break from putting out videos like every week it does take a lot of time and everything but i appreciate you guys watching this video as far as the flea went i think i made a 
around like 500 or 600 bucks. Nothing crazy. I was honestly hoping to make a little bit more, but it was like a super hot day. It was a holiday weekend. And I honestly just don't think that selling in person at Fleas is really for me. Like I really do enjoy selling online. I really think it's my market. So I'm just gonna stick with that. But yeah, I seriously recommend going to Half Day Market if you guys are in the Portland area. They also are accepting new vendor applications each month. So check that out if you guys do wanna vend with them. Again, I do appreciate you guys watching the video. I'm gonna try to be doing videos like every month. I really don't wanna like hold myself accountable to putting out any YouTube videos because then I feel like it doesn't become fun for me. I wanna make it fun. I wanna make it fun for you guys. I want to actually want to do this. So let's just say, give me another month or so for a video. But in the meantime, follow me on Instagram. I'm live there every week. I'm doing stuff over there all the time. So I really appreciate you guys for the support. Please hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. It would be really cool to hit like 10K subs by the end of the year. I think if I hit that, it would motivate me to put out some more videos and stuff. But anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you guys as always. This is Jackson from Loveless Vintage. Peace out.